Beautiful out there, but boy, some areas of the country have been hit with extreme weather. Uh, Lawrence is back with us. Uh, it's been rough. Yeah, this is that time of year. It gets scary. You can imagine you're, you're looking forward to springtime in places, and then other places. It gets really dangerous uh, weather-wise, and that's what they've seen today. Just a series of tornadoes developing along this frontal boundary, and today, no exception, uh, numerous tornadoes coming down along that line. They're looking for the possibility of some tornadic activity for tonight as well. But you see all those areas in red and white. Those are reports of different tornadoes all the way from New Orleans, all the way up to Jackson, and then further east. And now that line is moving further also into parts of uh, Mississippi and Alabama, and it's going to head toward the eastern seaboard. So here's where we sit right now. All those areas shaded in yellow, they are currently under a tornado watch. Scary night ahead for them as numerous thunderstorms continuing to erupt along that line. Some heavier storms and severe thunderstorms are developing in parts of the north, right just south of Birmingham. They've had some flash flooding in that area too, and that continues tonight underneath some of those big thunderstorms storms that are developing out there so they're watching out for that tonight as well and then I think tomorrow I think uh, you're gonna watch some of the thunderstorms kind of back off a little bit after the sun sets they lose some of that energy uh, from the sun and then all of a sudden as the sun comes up the next day that starts to give life to these storms again and they're start going to start to push toward the eastern seaboard in fact you can see uh, severe weather outlook for tomorrow stretches all the way from parts of Florida all the way up into Raleigh so yeah it's gonna be a wild day again for many folks there tomorrow uh, not only the thunderstorms the possibility of some tornadoes, but you've got hail the size of golf balls out there as well, and just some dangerous weather with more flash flooding too. Back in the Bay Area, kind of quiet outside, nice and dry, and that's the way it's going to stay. In fact, we are going to see high pressure start to weaken a little bit by tomorrow afternoon. That's going to allow the temperatures to come down a few degrees. I don't expect we're going to see the records for tomorrow, but the warmer spots still sneak into the low 80s. I think along the coastline, some of that fog moving in, and temperatures much cooler in the 50s and the 60s, and then a chance of rain as we head toward next Monday.